Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow work out this area here from 0 to 1. From 0 to 1. Remember, that on 0, this whole thing here breaks down. But somehow work out this area from 0 to 1. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, our normal routine has always been to integrate it from an arbitrary point B to 1. So, so our normal routine has always been to integrate it from an arbitrary point B to 1. And then later allow, later allow B to head towards 0 from the right hand side. So later take the limit as B heads towards 0 from the right hand side. So our normal routine has always been to integrate it from B to 1. And then let, let, uh, let B head towards 0 from the right hand side. So we can say the, the, uh, the area from 0 to 1 is equal to this whole thing here. So don't forget, we've got to take the limit of this whole thing here as B heads towards 0 from the right hand side. So now it really boils down to us trying to integrate this. So to integrate this, we could use uh, substitution, but, but try to train yourself to, to, uh, to visualize, to be able to visualize this as this. Hang on. Try to visualize this thing here as, uh, as this. So you've got one block multiplying another block here. One and then you've got your square root uh, x squared plus 2x. So, um, so, so try and visualize this thing here as this thing here. Now tr also try and, um, try and try to train yourself to be able to spot that this here is near enough the exact derivative of this thing here. Because if you were to differentiate this, you're going to get some... Uh, if you were to differentiate this, you're going to get something of the form x differentiate this you're going to get a constant so this x here matches up with this and uh, and this constant here matches up with this the point is that try to train yourself to visualize that this here is near enough the exact derivative of this thing here so so uh, so try and visualize this thing here as this Hang on. Uh, try and visualize this thing here as as uh, x squared uh, plus 2x well this here would be the square root, but because you've got one over the square root, it's going to be this. Now, if I were to, hang on, bear with me, bear with me. If I were to ask you to uh, to differentiate this, you would do you would do the following. You would well, this thing here would go down here, so that would then, well, sorry, um, but currently this thing here we can re we we can imagine it as like this. Don't forget, we've still got the x plus uh, 1 here. But forget about this x plus 1 for the time being. Uh, currently, what we've got here is this thing here. But then if we want to integrate this, we need one notch higher than this. So rather than a half, we, we would make our guess to be... So ra rather than negative a half, we would make our guess to be a half. Now, if I were to ask you to differentiate this, uh, it would then give you this. This thing goes down. So that would be a half um, x squared plus 2x. Uh, and then the, the, the power gets minus by 1. So that would become negative a half. Uh, and then you've got to time to the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be 2x, 2x uh, plus 2, plus 2. So, uh, so you can see that, um, well, this thing here, we, we can uh, imagine as being like this, x plus 1. So, uh, so notice that this 2 will cancel out with this 2, and this x plus 1 is exactly the same as this. So th the point is, you can use, you can use integration, uh, sorry, you can use in, you can use substitution, but try to train yourself to be able to spot that this is near enough the exact derivative of this. And currently, currently what you've got here is this. Currently what you've got here is this. 2x to the power of uh, negative a half. This is your currently. This is what you've got currently. This thing here is of, of this form here. So if you want to integrate it, then one notch higher than this would be uh, would be positive a half. So now if you were to differentiate this, it would give you a half. The bubble stays intact. X squared plus two x, and then uh, and then this thing here gets minus by one, and then times. Um, times the derivative of this, which will be uh, 2x plus 2, uh, and then blah blah blah, 
the the uh, the point here is that uh, if you integrate this, it will give you this. Okay, so so integrate this. That will then give you that will then give you this. Remember from uh, from from b to one. So now it's just a matter of us putting this into here. Put this into here. That will then give you that will then give you uh, three here, and then square root it. So that will give you root three. And then put b into here. Put b into here. That will then give you this. Well, as b heads towards uh, zero, uh, this whole thing here is going to be zero. Zero square root of zero will be zero. This whole thing here will be zero. So leaving you with a, with an area of root three. So this area here is uh, is root three. Okay.